guys, this is Ryan here. It's a very Russian talking today. Well, you guys are gonna see insanity of unholy decay in terms of the rat's pressure damage with a commentary and the skirmishes in Legion Beta. Also, for my philosophy channel, today I kind of shared my story and I'm actually going against the flow and I'm saying that there's not much racism or prejudice going in the United States. And me, as a first generation immigrant, I told you my story on that channel and why I don't think so. So check it out. Enjoy the show. So for this one, first of all, we're going with the area of effect build. Like I said before, if you want to know what is the area of effect build is about, please go into my pressure master video where I actually explain how to proper switch between area of effect and single target. But this one is actually going to be a really good definition of the purity of the rat, the rat capability of unholy, which is absolutely insane. So. I am fighting here against two Frost Mages and two Pets. Obviously, we have a lot of cliff damage potential. But also, if you use the Epidemic correctly and everything else here, the feedback damage from the Pet to the Master, from the Master to the Pet, with the Verona Plaque is gonna be absolutely insane. And I want you guys to see the damage here and the damage capability of Unholy Decay. It's just nasty. So I got rooted here and just to avoid the preliminary burst, I am gonna pop my Wrath Rock, I'm gonna actually trink it out of the CC and we're gonna start applying the diseases. Now notice I'm actually stood right a little bit behind the pillar to avoid some of the crowd control mechanics and I am actually gonna be polymorphed here in a second but if you see how much they stacked with their pets and that actually let me do Epidemic, I'm actually interrupting the cast and the first mage goes down. The second one is right around the corner and with the pet stun, he's actually gonna blink out. I am gonna grip him back just so avoid him from drinking and he actually goes down. And look at this, I did more than double the damage of both mages combined. But you need to make sure you're not letting them set up the lot, a lot of damage on you to begin with. This one the fighting against the Red and the Shadow Priest. And this is the beauty and the strength of Unholy Decay is that we do really good against the Magic users because we have a Pet Sack, uh, well a Corpse Shield technically speaking nowadays, and we have AMS. Against the Physical, Unholy is not doing that good in terms of survivability. But again, spreading the diseases, gripping the Paladin away from my Rogue because they're gonna try to focus my Rogue. And you need to let your Rogue live because if they kill Rogue, they will get on me and I am squishy as hell. So we go on the Shadow Priest because he is a primary target and I'm and once he got buffed, I'm actually swapping to the Paladin right over here and I'm going back to Shadow Priest. Here's the thing, the buff actually doesn't really do much against Unholy Decays nowadays simply because all our damage is magical. Now the Shadow Priest goes down and the red down to half HP. My defensive cooldowns are down, so that's where I should be kiting him as much as possible and just let the red do the job. Here, uh, once he got locked down, I can actually come in for a couple scratch strikes, couple death strikes, and then just start kiting again, back. So, because we're technically half caster, we can afford lining, line of sighting melee, and we have to be kiting them as much as possible. This is against the mage and the monk. Now, they're gonna try to get on me in the beginning, kind of. Uh, they will try, they try to, see how they're swapping onto me, and I'm wrath walking right away, away from them, while my mage is tanking there, which I don't know why he should be tanking, but he is. So, here I'm actually spreading a lot of diseases here, my necrotic aura stacking up, and the area of effect damage just adds up and multiplies, and we force both mages to block at the same time, but HP-wise, we're not doing too hard because, technically speaking, they have more HP than us. I'm popping the anti-magic shell. I'm actually interrupting the frost skull on the mage as well here. And at this point in time, it's time to spread damage as much as possible. Here's the thing. Unholy can do really, really well against mages. But he'll do really, really poor against monks in 1v1. So you gotta kill monk first. If you trade in the kills and you left with a mage, you as an Holy Decay will be able to devour and destroy them completely. And look at the damage. 9.3 million versus 5 million combined damage. An Holy Decay does a lot of, a lot of rod, heavy rod duty damage. Here we're kind of starting a little bit halfway in. And the cool thing about this is our pet actually applies a lot of different effects. And now that after the poly, 
I'm again spreading my diseases, again the feedback goes against it. Unholy does really well when the enemy teams stack up and Pandemic is so deadly nowadays that it's just the burst damage is absolutely insane. But once your cooldown, uh, cooldowns are down, you need to line aside a little bit here. I'm popping my Valkyrie and the Shadow Priest actually dispersing which is a completely good thing to do and I'm swapping onto the Mage right now. Now the Mage goes down. And the Shadow Priest is not going to be able to survive against the Valkyrie hitting him for 220,000 damage. Thank you guys a lot for watching this video. If you have other video requests or anything else like that, well, let me know in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. Do svidanya.